And breaking news coming in, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has come out strongly against Pakistan for continuing its proxy war of terrorism against India, saying it has lost the strength to fight a conventional war. Addressing troops of the Army and the Indian Air Force on his maiden trip to Leh and Ladakh, Modi has condemned the continuing proxy war by Pakistan, saying that the neighbouring country has lost the strength to fight a conventional war but continues to engage in the proxy war of terrorism. The Prime Minister has said that the Indian Armed Forces were suffering more casualties from terrorism than from war. That is uh, the Prime Minister's tough speak on Pakistan. Remember, this is even as the Pakistani troops violated ceasefire on almost a daily basis. Two attacks, in fact, taking place uh, as the Narendra Modi, in fact, arrived in Leh today. One on a BSF convoy. Remember, seven Jawans were injured as they were returning from the Amarnath Yatra duties. But Narendra Modi taking a tough stand, uh, continuing uh, to slam Pakistan as they provoke again, talking tough against Pakistan in Leh saying that the country is continuing their proxy war of terrorism because they cannot fight a conventional war. And Shuja al our correspondent, now joining us live. Shuja, Narendra Modi, in fact, uh, standing his ground, very, very tough speak on Pakistan. Remember, this is, a, this is coming as uh, there have been two attacks um, in Jammu and Kashmir as the Prime Minister touched down today. Well, that's right. Uh, you know, as just uh, we just heard that the Prime Minister, while uh, you know, uh, you know, addressing uh, the defence forces in Leh, has clearly um, you know, you know, lashed out at Pakistan and said uh, that uh, since the neighbouring country had uh, lost uh, the capability of fighting a conventional war, they are uh, going for a proxy war against India, and that is something that will clearly be seen in in the way uh, things have been happening of late. Uh, like you were talking about ceasefire violations have happened uh, since yesterday only at least two places ceasefire violations have happened including one in Dras area very close by to Kargil where we are standing right now and also the kind of militant attacks that have been happening yesterday late last night we had a major attack on a BSF convoy on just uh, in the outskirts of Srinagar city which clearly gives you an example that uh, uh, as far as the level of militancy is concerned it still exists and a very very strong signal being sent, sent across uh, by the Prime Minister himself uh, while he talks about uh, uh, the way that the neighboring country is uh, going for a proxy war and has lost the capability of launching any other form of any aggression against India. Right, Shujab, we understand that this in fact uh, has in fact come on a day that Pakistan troops have been violating ceasefire on almost a daily basis. And uh, remember, they have also summoned India's envoy to protest what it called unprovoked firing by Indian forces. The irony of it, considering that there have been, uh, you know, not only ceasefire violations, but terror attacks. Well, that's that's right, and that's precisely the point here. Uh, not just uh, not just the aggression that is seen on the line of control, uh, as far as ceasefire violations are concerned, uh, the, uh, the the attempts of infiltration are concerned, but also uh, the kind of militant attacks that we are we have seen off late in in Kashmir. Uh, as I was pointing out, the case in point being just just yesterday, less than uh, less than 10 hours ago, there has been a major attack in Srinagar on on a BSF convoy. So uh, this is the, these all points go in. in in tandem, these things happening at a time when the Prime Minister is making his visit to Jammu and Kashmir, it somehow also uh, has, you know, has a signal that the other side wants to send across. And now, uh, with these kind of words, the Prime Minister mincing no words, but uh, uh, saying that uh, the neighbouring country is, uh, is is in constant, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, is making a constant attempt of uh, launching a proxy war against uh, India. And this is something that the security forces are aware about. They will uh, fight it out and they will fight it out hard. Right, Shuja, stay with us. We also have Praful Bakshi joining us uh, on the phone line. Sir, uh, the Prime Minister sending out a tough message condemning the continuing proxy war by Pakistan, not mincing his words and refusing to back down, taking an extremely tough stand. 
Well, uh, that's uh, the minimum he can do about it is to take a tough stand. It's very high time that India took a tough stand and we are very happy that we have a person like him now who will now say, um, do what he says. But the question is, uh, you must go to the incidents of the last three days. Right. Prime Minister of Pakistan made an overture towards India and said he regrets the fighting on the border, etc. And then the Prime Minister, our Prime Minister is going on the border to meet the people and there are not all of firing state of it takes place in between these two major inc uh, uh, items and uh, they uh, uh, attack our convoy. Now the question is Pakistan every time does it whenever there is an overture from their leader or there is a movement towards rapprochement. Pakistan army uh, has a equation with, with, the, with Pakistan government which is totally different from us. They do not want the rapprochement with India. That is very clear. Right. So that is why Indian government must ask the Indian army, you carry on relentlessly now, ruthlessly against them without mincing any words. And with the diplomatic talk and sweet talk will go on on its own. It has nothing to do with what is happening on the border. Right. We must be very clear about it. And we, should, we must not get carried away by between these nice sweet words between prime ministers. They are meaningless. Because Pakistan Army, Taliban, ISI combined now wants to now want to subjugate India and keep India occupied on this this sort of war, which is called proxy war, which has more um, problems with us. You will be surprised that China is fully supporting this, and it is in the interest of Pakistan and China that India remains in such a tough situation, and we have to now face it. So we are very happy that Prime Minister is out there increasing the morale and raising the morale of our troops and our troops know that there is no word, no way of backing out of the whole thing. Everything has to be carried out as per the requirement of right. the government. Sir, but do you see, do you see Modi's latest message as a sort of a change or a shift in taking a more aggressive stand, uh, a stance on, on an issue like this? Remember that India has been criticized over the many, you know, over almost a decade for going too soft on Pakistan. Yes, we have been going too soft on Pakistan. I mean, there was no criticism was very justified. We were going soft and we had our reasons to go soft. We still have our reasons to go soft. Basically, we are scared of two-front war. We cannot face the two-front war because we have allowed ourselves to, be, to become weak. Total indigenization programs of India have still not started. Of course, Prime Minister Modi has just come. The weapons, etc. are only being discussed. We have not started our own production. We have not done anything else. So that is why we used to also discuss and say that we have to buy time for about six to seven years before we get fully ready. But when it comes to, when the push come, comes to shove, we have to work out on this issue and uh, we can face we can actually um, um, put the things right if, if the, it's the one-to-one -one war uh, on the border and we have to face it, whatever it is, we cannot back out and we, this is very important for the nation, for the youth of the nation, for the people of the country and the army. Right, sir, let me just bring in uh, Gaurav Savant, our strategic affairs editor who's joining us. Uh, Gaurav Modi taking a really, really aggressive stance this time that given as, uh, you know, whatever be happening as diplomatic channels are, you know, sort of opening up between the two countries, but what's happening on the border is a completely different thing. And Narendra Modi, in fact, slamming that saying that the country does not have the strength to engage in a conventional war and so continues this proxy war of terrorism. Prime Minister Narendra Modi clearly calling a spade a spade. He addressed commanders and troops at the 14 Corps headquarters uh, at the Victorian in May. And in that address, he told the soldiers that they're doing a wonderful job protecting the actual ground position line in Seattle Glacier and that there will be absolutely no compromise on deployment in Siachen Glacier. If you recall, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was talking about making Siachen Glacier a mountain of peace where India and Pakistan, where this is the saying that India and Pakistan in track 2 had agreed to withdraw from Asia. Now there are two things here. Pakistan army is not on the Siachen Glacier. The Indian army is on the Saltoro Ridge beyond the glacier. And according to strategic affairs experts and the army, it is not in national interest to withdraw from the glacier. It is of strategic importance. 
the Prime Minister agrees with them and this is what he told the soldiers that you continue to guard the Siachen Glacier, there will be no compromise on Siachen. He also said that Pakistan does not have the capabilities to engage with the Indian Army right. in conventional warfare and that is a proxy war is what will happen and the soldiers need to be prepared for that which again is calling a state of state. Gaurav Savant, our Strategic Affairs Editor, thank you so much for bringing us that update.